Hey guys, so I'm offloading some footage from my hike today and I just noticed that the whole first part of uh, me introducing the hike and explaining where I'm gonna go and where I'm gonna hike, I guess it didn't record on my camera even though I thought it was recording. So um, I'm just gonna explain that I did the James River North Bank and Buttermilk Trail. It's a trail that stretches about 6.1 miles to be exact. This is my story about me reviewing my backpack and hiking that trail. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I've got about, I wanna say 35 pounds worth of camera gear, cooking gear, and water in this backpack. And it barely feels like I'm carrying anything at all. The weight is balanced. It's off my shoulders. I feel light. Deuter makes some great backpacks. And I'm really glad the folks at REI recommended this one for me because it's gonna last me a long time, hopefully. And it's gonna take me on many, many adventures, so. So we made it to the Bell Island footbridge. We're only about a mile point eight in the trail and we have to cross this bridge in order to get to the North Bank Trail. So we can loop around, cross another bridge and then head on our way back. This is the Bell Isle footbridge. A really cool thing about this bridge is that on my left, you can see Bell Isle over here on my right. You know, you got the capital of Virginia right here and then everywhere around you is just the River James. You know, people enjoying their time in the great outdoors, coming out here and just having a good time. So can't get any better than this. It's crazy to see how stuff like this exists so close to the city, you know? And I think Richmond is a great place for me to stay. I'm moving here in the summer and I just can't wait. The end of this bridge marks the second mile. I've already been on this trail for two and a half hours. The average time it takes to finish this trail is about two and a half hours. But everywhere I'm going, I'm stopping and I'm filming. So that makes it even longer. I still gotta go cook lunch. So I gotta find a nice spot, lay my stuff down, take a break, drink some water and cook up some lunch. This is the North Bank Trail. It stretches all the way down there. It meets up with Maimon Park, and then there's another bridge somewhere in the distance over there that I have to cross to get back towards Bell Isle and back to the parking lot where I parked. So we've still got a long ways to go, maybe about four and a half miles. This backpack is holding up great. Deuter, you guys make some great backpacks. Again, it feels like I'm not really carrying anything. So originally we started, we parked right here, hit all the way up to Bell Isle, crossed the Bell Isle footbridge, and then now we are right here. We got this whole little bit to go. It's not that much, but yeah, it's fun. I'm really enjoying myself. It's a really good time. It's really beautiful out here. You're surrounded by mother nature. You got bikers, hikers alike, that just appreciate nature and 
being out here, man. Away from your job, away from life's troubles, and it's good for the soul. So we got about 3.6 miles left and I think we're making good progress on time. I still gotta cook lunch, I'm getting a little hungry. So I think maybe I'm gonna find a place to sit down, eat a cliff bar and save the cooking for a little in the evening. So these are winter berries. They're native to the East Coast and they're like a relative of holly trees, like you know the ones for Christmas. They look beautiful, but don't get that twisted. They're poisonous for humans, so don't eat them if you see them. Looks like the train's about to start. That right there is a CSX coal train. Each car can hold anywhere from 50 to 100 tons of coal, and they're about 50 to 52 feet long. They stretch all the way. You can't really see it now because it's all overgrown, but it's an amazing sight to see. I have to walk all the way down this decline just to get a shot of me climbing back up. Oh no, hi. Oh no. <laughs> Thing, I'm just filming something. I just, right? no, no, it's funny because I was just thinking about the way I have to climb all the way up the incline and then climb all the way back down just to get a shot, so. Oh, no, no, I said oh no in the context of like, shoot, I'm gonna interrupt your hike. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great time though. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful out here. The things you do just to get a shot. Whew, man. It is so challenging when you gotta film by yourself. But it's so much more rewarding when you get the perfect shot. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these might be oyster mushrooms. This might be wild oyster mushrooms, so. I still wouldn't advise you to eat any wild mushrooms if you really don't know what they are. So, just be careful. There's a better view of the CSX train that I was talking about. 
It's just loaded with coal. So this hike is about 6.1 miles. I've covered 5.39 miles in total distance and I've still got 2.49 miles to go. The rest of the miles are me running back and forth to go get my camera, so, you know? So in total, I'm probably doing about 10 miles today instead of 6.1. All of that other stuff is just cut out through the magic of video editing, so. It's crazy to see that a bamboo forest like this exists in the middle of the city. It's amazing. So inside there is Maimon Park. One of the first times I went here was with my girlfriend Peaches and it was a very memorable time. I loved it so much. At that time, I didn't even know a trail like this that I'm on existed. It's funny how somehow fate connects the moments, you know? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so How's beautiful. I'm getting a little hungry, so I gotta find a place here soon to set up shop, get some dinner cooking. The plan was to cook lunch, but you know, I underestimated the time it was gonna take to film this. So I gotta find a flat place to set my little pocket rocket down by MSR and cook some food. Oh. I think we'll take a break here and cook up some lunch. So a couple great things about this backpack. This is the Deuter Air Contact 50 plus 10. Plus 10 comes from the little top compartment here. Once it's all full, that's a great added benefit. You've got all this back support here to support all the weight and get it off your shoulders. You got a couple pockets down here to put some stuff in. You got their berry slide here to adjust the shoulder straps. This backpack roughly weighs about 2160 grams, so 2160 grams, which is equivalent to about, I wanna say like 4.7 pounds empty. All right, the dimensions are 78 inches by 31 by 26. The recommended load is 15 to 20 kilograms. The back length is 42 to 62 centimeters and your body height is anywhere from 170 to 205 centimeters. So it might be a little bit of a stretch for, you know, shorter people, but for me being 5'11", it's a great backpack, very durable. You got perforation here in the back, so you know, you're getting that nice airflow on your back and it's not really sweating much. Yeah, this backpack is great. I've got about 35, roughly almost 35 pounds of gear in here. And I'm in my 6.26th mile of this hike and I still got 1.87 miles to go. So roughly almost 10 miles today. So with this backpack, uh, again, shout out REI for taking care of me with the recommendation of this backpack and to Deuter. You guys are making amazing, durable quality stuff and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Huh, what a great backpack. So we got the stove and the pans here. For today's menu, we're having simple, having some simple Hawaiian bread and just plain old sausages. Chorizo to be exact. Just gonna wash your hands before you start cooking. Got these cool little pots and pans here. This is like my egg fryer and my pancake maker. You got the bigger pan for bigger stuff right here. Yeah, nice little plate. I usually just eat out of the pan anyway, so we don't have to use the plates today. I am so hungry. I haven't even eaten breakfast. It's about, oh my God, it's almost three o'clock. Oh, I'm due for a meal. I am due for a meal. See, now I don't have anything to wipe my hands on, so. Luckily, these are fully cooked. They're just pre-cooked and packaged and not raw. So put it back in a Ziploc bag, save for later. We'll do some oil first. Oh, sh Oh, excuse my language. The pan is still wet. Oil first, so it doesn't stick because this thing gets super hot. There's a reason why they call it a pocket rocket because it's literally a rocket. 
The oil is so thick, it's been sitting in the cold. Today, we had a low of 27, so below freezing, and a high of 50-ish. So, it's a little cold today, but you know, that didn't stop me from getting out. Flint and steel, you know, it works great when you don't bring lighters, but I suggest you also bring lighters as well. They're fairly light, they're easy to carry, and if they get wet, you can still use them. There you go. Turn down the heat a little bit here. Get the pan on and let's start cooking. Oh no, she smells the food. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just started a roughly a six six mile hike from uh, James, uh, I forget the James River Recreation Center, all the way down to headquarters. I've hiked all the way around here and I'm just doing a review on this backpack here. My daughter, so <laughs> yeah. Just cooking some lunch because <laughs> well you have a nice day, sir. This is so good. I think the most rewarding meals are the ones you have to work for. And I think I worked for this. <laughs> there you go. Just like that, we're done. Nice and easy meal. And again, this is just a propane camping canister. And magic is here with this MSR pocket rocket this is so revolutionary i don't know how i haven't discovered this until now this stuff's probably been around for years but you know look at that just fold this back right there stick that down fold this around to the other side just like that and it fits in this tiny little tiny little container here and just goes right back in the bag. See? Nice and simple. Always replace the top. Don't lose the top if you do get one of these. Take it with you. And there you go. Back into the bag. So the point of doing all this is to get out in the great outdoors. But... More importantly, you don't want to leave a trace. You don't want to leave any trash out there. You know, you don't want to soil the lands that people work so hard to maintain. So in that context, please, please clean up after yourself. You know, look twice. I am forgetful, but I don't forget to look twice when it comes to litter and stuff like that. So clean up after yourself, recycle and save the world. Right now, I'm on a highway bridge over here. I would get amazing drone footage of this spot but my phone's about to die being me i forgot a charger so unfortunately i'm gonna have to do that another time but this bridge is shaking as cars drive by and it's so scary we're so high up look anyways i wanted to show you guys more of the train down there it's so insane look at all the coal in there it's just filled to the brim with coal. Looks like somebody's getting a bad Christmas. It is beautiful. Absolutely stunning out here. You're just getting blown by like 12 mile per hour gusts. And you're just walking on this bridge. Make sure your hats are secure and everything on your backpack is secure. So you don't go flying. My intrusive thoughts are telling me to jump off the bridge into the water, but then I die of hypothermia. So we're not gonna do that today. If you're afraid of heights and you wanna do this trail, you're gonna have to muster up the courage and do it. Cause if you're afraid of heights, you're probably not gonna wanna go on this bridge. We came from all the way down there through this trail over here down under the bridge, up around, and now we're on this, damn. 
Now we're on this bridge. So from there all the way around it loops in one big loop down this bridge and somewhere over there is where I parked. I can't even tell anymore. But yeah, what an experience. What an amazing experience. All right, we made it back to some nice established trails and we're off of that bridge. And now we're heading on the buttermilk trail from the North Bank Trail. So yeah, I think I got a little bit over a mile left and we're almost there. So <sighs> let's go. Oh man, we have an incline from there all the way up. Huh. Oh, let's get this done. This tree trunk is massive. Oh wow. Huh. Look at these little crevices in this tree. It goes all the way in. Looks like it's rotting from the inside. I wonder where all this water's coming from. Oh, it's so cold. Oh wow, this is insane, it's amazing. Here's that incline I was talking about. Oh, oh man. This backpack, this backpack works wonders for my back. I even forgot that I was carrying something. <laughs> Train tracks down there. Wow. This rocks. That's so cool. There's just little rock cliffs that were formed by the river one day, long, long time ago. It's insane to see this. That's so cool. It's insane. You can hear the train coming. There it is. marvelous piece of machinery. Wow. My phone's about to die, but we got 0.4 miles to go. I've covered about, yep, there it is. Just died. It's unfortunate that I forgot my charger. It won't track the last 0.4 miles, but about nine miles today and I feel great. Nine miles with this backpack and I don't feel, my shoulders do not feel sore at all. Oh, steep set of stairs. Oh. Oh yeah, the legs are burning. Feels good. I think I can see the parking lot from here. Oh, we're almost there. Oh yeah, victory feels near. I can taste it. Oh, let's go kick it into overdrive. Just kidding, we're not gonna do that. Well, I think we made it back. Parking lot is about less than a point mile and 
wow, was this an amazing experience. This wouldn't have been possible with this Deuter backpack to carry all my gear, the wonderful folks at REI, and my own two feet. Gosh, I am thankful. Wow. Just like that. There it is, the parking lot. Holy cow, we went far. Here we are, back where we started. Oh, the whole thing. We started here, right around like 10 o'clock in the morning. Came all the way up here, through the North Bank Trail, all the way to Boulevard Bridge, and back. What a wonderful time. Here's my car, right there. Oh, I gotta get the phone charged so I can see how many miles I tracked today. All right, we are back. All in all, we did a total of 8.43 miles. Average pace at 28.12. We burned 2,062 calories. Total time of five hours, 21 minutes and 32 seconds and moving time for three hours, 57 minutes and 44 seconds. Here you go. All of this, can be tracked on an app called All Trails. Everybody knows about it. So if you want to start going on a hike, you know, tracking your miles, tracking your calories, this is the best way to do it. Shout out, All Trails. Now this trip carried all my cooking gear, all my food, all my camera gear, my drone, hydro flask, three liters of water, you know, everything I needed to go on this hike today. So thank you so much, Deuter, for making great quality backpacks. This was an amazing experience and I loved it. It's crazy that my shoulders aren't sore and my back. It offers so much support, as you see here, so. Hi. Hey, baby, I'm back. Huh. Say hi to the vlog. Mm, I'm back. Oh. Hey, buddy. Mm. Oh, it's my cat. Oh, what a amazing time. If you guys like the video, please remember to like, comment, or share so we can inspire others to get out there and do the same, so. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. What do you got to say, babe? <laughs> okay. Hi, my baby boy. Oh, did you have a good time with mama? Hmm? Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Who's your good boy? Who's the king? Hmm? You want to say hi to your camera? Good boy. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, bye, Dobby. <laughs> <laughs>